Okay, so to continue our uh, sort of path towards bee trees, <clears throat> we're going to start talking about two, three, four trees. The last video was about two, three trees, and of course, once you break that binary boundary, why, why stop at three? Why not, why not have two, three, four trees? So in a two, three tree, we had each non-leaf having uh, two or three children. Each node, leaf or non-leaf, had one or two keys. And uh, every leaf is at the same level of the tree, okay? What's the difference between that and the two, three, four tree? Not really any major difference. The two, three, four tree, we're gonna say we have, well, we can have two or three or four children. Uh, each node can have one, two, or three trees, respectively for non-leaf nodes. And every leaf will again be at the same level of the tree. What is this, why do, why do we care about these? What do they gain us? Well, I'll come back to that later, all right? So now I'm just gonna sort of go over the way that they work just by an example. There's nothing particularly conceptually different about these versus two, three, four trees. In this case, this is a bottom up two, three, four tree. So I can imagine inserting a three and then I wanna insert a seven and then I wanna insert a four and I just do that all within one node because now I'm allowed to have up to three keys in one node. When I wanna insert the nine, I look and I say, well, I mean, I want to insert this nine and I could imagine myself sort of inserting the nine and then splitting the node. Instead, I tend to think in this case, well, the node that I'm about to insert into is full. Let me split it by moving the middle key upwards. I say middle key because, well, there's only three. If I sort of stick the nine in there first and then split it, well, then I got to decide. Is four the middle or is nine the middle? I don't know. That's why I'm going to say, let's sort of out, of out of symmetry and fairness, we'll split the node by the middle node and then after that, insert our nine value. This is one way to uh, implement a bottom up two, three, four tree. You could have other ways, but let's go with this way. So now I want to insert a 10. Uh, just like before, I always start at the root. I always start at the root and I say, well, 10 is bigger than four, step down to this leaf. Hey, it's a leaf and there's room. Stick the 10 in, great. Now I wanna insert a zero, start at the leaf, zero smaller than four, or start at the root, zero smaller than four. I get down to a leaf, stick the zero in there. No problems, right? I wanna insert a five. Well, okay, I wanna insert a five. I look and I go, oh, five is bigger than four. I am about to try to stick a five into a leaf which is full. So what I want to do is I want to take that nine value and move it up to its parent, separating, splitting the seven and 10. So I do that. And after that, I now have room to actually insert the five that I'm trying to insert. Now I want to insert a six, starting at the root. Six is bigger than four, it's less than nine, go to the middle child. <sighs> Great, there's room for it, right? And that's fine. Now I want to insert an eight. Well, eight is less than nine, or greater than four, less than nine, come to the middle child. The middle child is a leaf and it's full. It's leaf it's a leaf and it's full, it means I want to split it. I'm going to take this six value, I'm going to send it up, separating the five and seven, gives me this, and then insert the eight as appropriate into one of those two nodes that I just split from. In this case, eight is bigger than the six node that just got promoted. Move the eight down. Um, so just a couple more so we at least have one, one sort of recursive split that we'll see a split moving up the tree more than one level. I insert a two, it looks great. Um, I insert a one. Okay, one's gonna come down to, the, and I say, oh great, I want to split this two out. When I split the two out, zero and three will separate. And then I can put the one into the node with the zero. Now this two, I'm trying to move, I've, I've, stuck the, I've stuck the one in there, but the two is trying to move up to the parent. But in this case, there's no room. There's no room in the parent. The parent is full. So again, I'm gonna sort of, well, the parent's full. Take the middle key, promote it up, 
that two is still trying to move up, but now that the middle key of the parent is up, hey, there's room for the two. So the one went into a node, the two went into another node, and everything looks good. Now, uh, just like in the two, three tree, if we have a node like this, you can imagine an underlying binary representation. If I want to come down to the left child of this node, it could be that I compare to four, and I'm smaller than four, and I just moved down to the left. Or it could be first compare to six, and then based on a comparison against four, you go to zero or three. Based on a comparison against nine, you go to I'll go to nine. You go to you know the seven, eight, or ten node, and that's how you get to you know this little node here can really incorporate a three-node binary tree. And if it's a balanced looking binary tree like that, you'd expect it to give you sort of two comparisons to get through each node with three keys. All right, so why do we care about this? Two, three trees already gave us a simple, pretty simple mechanism to balance things. And by simple, it means I don't have to remember why rotations happen. The node gets too big, it splits. Two, three trees basically still give that. They still have logarithmic operation. Maybe because there's three keys in a node, that node might look a little bit more balanced than a node with two keys. But of course, you still have some nodes with two keys, even in a two, three, four tree node. So what does it really give us? Well, it actually gives us some flexibility. It's split on the way down the tree, which is a different data structure called a top-down, bottom, uh, top-down two, three, four tree, instead of the bottom-up two, three, four trees we're talking about here. And uh, we're going to take a look at them, top down, two, three, four trees. And that's going to be the next topic that we talk about. Thanks.